guys, good morning. Happy, happy Friday. I made it, y'all. God. <laughs> um, so I have a half day today. I'm off at 12. I took a voluntary no pay. <laughs> Sucks, but I need it. I did it yesterday and I'm doing it today. Um, I got a few minutes because it's 8.18 when I came in here. And I need to get ready to log in on the last app. Um, yes, I'm in the bathroom. I'm not using it. I'm just sitting here because the lighting is better. Um, I need to get the bulb replaced in the living room. Um, and in the kitchen, I don't have, you know, chairs and stuff in there yet. Well, you know, I stuff in there, but not the chairs to sit on. Um, so yeah, I decided, you know what, let me come in here and shut the door. It's quiet. The lighting is great because you got the lighting coming in from, you know, the mirror, the window from outside. That's beautiful. I love that. Um, I love having a, a window in the bathroom, y'all. Um, especially one where you can sit stuff on the ledge. That's amazing for me. Anyway, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, hope you had a great night. Um, I didn't go, I didn't actually lay down till 12, 12.30. Um, I had finished, finished the rest of the laundry. Every freaking thing is washed and clean. Okay? <laughs> I am tired. When I took off early yesterday, um, I did a video about it. I was sitting in the car. I'm going to upload all that today, hopefully. Um, but when I get off today, I'm going to, today is plasma day, I'm going to go early. And then when I leave from there, um, I need to get some, you know, little simple things, a dishwashing liquid, little things like that. Um, and then I have to really make a decision. Um, it's going to be a tough decision, I'm not going to lie, um, to try to help. You know, remember I told y'all the situation where I'm trying to help their dad a little bit and, um... <sighs> it's going to be a tough decision because y'all know I like my space. I like my quiet. Um, and to have that invaded, um, especially given the situation, it's going to be tough. You know, when you have people around you that kind of live different than you do, uh, which is one of the reasons why I want to be by myself. I, I'm a peaceful person. I'm not into the gossip. I'm not into just the loud, you know. But some people, they just live. They wake up, turn up. <laughs> you know, like my oldest son. He's just turned. And I love it. I love his presence. I love him. But sometimes, you know, I like my, you know, shh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, yeah. Um, so I have a tough decision to make. Um, and it's not a permanent decision. It's just like I said, it's me trying I have a decision to make whether or not to continue to try to help this person, to help their dad for maybe another month or so, um, or not, you know, and, and helping him, it helps me. But at the same time, I, I just, ugh, I don't know. I have to pray. Seriously, I have to pray, y'all. Um, anyway, happy Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. I'm tired, but it's Friday. <laughs> I'm hoping this morning go by fast. As y'all can tell, I'm so excited because I already know that I'm not going to be working all day today. I'm excited. I'm hoping my calls do not come in like that today, that they just are chill. I finished my uh, enrollment today. I went in and completed my enrollment. I added dental to the plan. I did want to add stuff to the plan because then it takes more out of my check. And by us not having overtime, you know, that's more money coming out of my check that I could be using to pay bills. Um, but, you know, God is good. I'm trusting there will always be, God's always making a way. And I'm not going to worry about it. I do need dental coverage. It is what it is. I am getting older teeth falling out my head or trying to fall out my head, you know, and, you know, shit, crooked, you know, it needs to be fixed, you know what I'm saying, so I always had a gap, ain't nothing I could do about that, well, they can probably close it or fill it in, who knows, we'll see, um, because I am going to make use of that dental, <laughs> I am, um, so at some point, y'all will probably see me on here, you know, uh, I know that looked crazy, but, yeah, 
anyway guys it's time for me to go ahead and go to work i'm gonna go ahead and um talk to you guys later please enjoy your morning uh please pray for others even if you don't know them because as i say we all need prayer and remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated i will be going to the dollar store y'all because i got on green and i don't have no green glasses like i have some in there that got green in them i think but this part yeah i need some green i could put on black but I didn't feel like it. Okay, so y'all, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Hey guys, good morning. It's my first break of the day, which is actually just about over. Just wanted to pop in and see how you guys were doing this morning. See how you got started. First time I talked to y'all today, I was like lit. I still am. <laughs> the calls are coming and I wish they would stop. But I keep telling myself, you get off at 12.30. You get off at 12.30, so don't worry about it. It's all right. But yeah, yeah, um, it's a busy morning. I don't know, it's just been busy a lot lately. Um, but it's cool. Um, if it wasn't busy, I wouldn't have a job, right? So I'm just leaving out of the kitchen. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check with you guys. I got a few minutes left on my break. I actually uh, left late because I was doing something. Um, I had to finish my enrollment today. Um, you know, you have to every year. Nothing changed, really. At first, in my mind, nothing changed. So I wasn't going to, you know, do anything. Just leave it as it was. But I did, like I told y'all before, decided to add uh, dental. So um, that's it. That's all that's happening or happened this morning was me completing that enrollment and taking these calls. Um yeah, so that's it. Um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and take a pee break and then get right back on these phones because my break is really just about over. Um, yeah, hope you guys' morning is going so far. Going so far. Hope you guys' morning is going well so far. Mine was hilarious. My morning was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I can't tell y'all why because I don't know if my son would want me to tell you why. I'm going to ask him later. <laughs> but it was freaking hilarious. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, happy Friday night. I don't know what time it is. I just know that it's late and I'm still up. Oh man, let me tell y'all. First, I hope you guys had a wonderful day today, okay? I had new glasses on. I hope y'all can tell. I like them. Let me tell y'all, it was a busy day. I got off work a little early. My intentions were to get some rest. And y'all know Fridays is plasma day. I'm talking to y'all. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. Um, I'm cleaning the stove. So, my intentions were to get a little rest and then do what I had to do today for tomorrow. And go to plasma place well i ended up helping their dad out which took five hours five hours and in the process of doing that like i started to develop such a headache i was hot like i was really hot um it was nice out today but not enough for me to be up as hot as I was, you know, like I kept letting the window down, and I mean, it was just hot, okay. Um, we got through it, everything. I think we left the house about one, so one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it was about four hours, okay, to be exact. I'm sorry, so. Left the house about one. We did not get back in the house till five. Okay. And I was quite tired. And like I said, I had such a headache. My body was hot. Like I don't know what was going on. Um I was a bit agitated. I don't know if I was agitated because of the situation or a bit agitated because, you know, I was starting to get hot and having such a bad, you know, headache. Um, I don't know, but once I got in that house at five, I remember looking at the time at five, 
um, because I was like, okay, if I was working and getting off at five, then I would be leaving the house at five, or if I was stuck on a call, I would be leaving about 5.30, 5.15, something like that, and still get to my destination in time. So, I came in, I ate something, because um, I thought maybe that's why I had a headache. So, I did eat, um, and then uh, I went out, because I took the garbage out earlier, so, um, and then I left, right? It was a little traffic -y, yes. So, I got there um, about... 6.13, I think it was, when I looked at the clock. So, 13 minutes later than what I would normally get there, right? Get there, go through all the, you know, stuff, the questions, blah, blah, blah. And then she puts the blood pressure cup on me, right? The first time she did it, for some reason, it didn't read. The second time she did it, y'all, I'm in the kitchen because that's where the light is. It's late. If I come in here, it becomes dark. So, I'm going to be quick. So, the second time she did it, um, it read as my pulse was too high. Blood pressure or pulse. One or the other was too high. And, honestly, I'm not surprised because I could feel my heart beating, you know. I, I just felt weird, kind of. So, I wasn't surprised when she said that. Um, so, I sat for a little bit. She's like, well, we're going to give you a little time to sit down, give your heart rate or your pulse, whatever time to, you know, calm down and come, go back to normal, whatever. So, I sat there for a little bit. And so, then the guy took it again. And he said, yeah, it's too high. So, he was like, just come back tomorrow. Um, so, I think that I'm just going to give myself a break. I'm going to give my body a break um, because I'm tired. Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. I'm just a bit tired. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean I don't trust God. I do. But I'm just tired. So, I get home. Um, you know, get squared away or whatever. Um, I did go by Sam's. I dropped in and got um, a bracelet for tomorrow. I got two bracelets, bracelets actually. I got a, a, a brush, a comb to do the edges. Um, I got some shampoo for my daughter, bio something. I had to get it from the prof professional aisle. I got her a, what's that makeup blending thing, sponge. And I got myself, like I said, the two bracelets, the bra and that was it. And we Oh, and I got some um, peppermint oil and biotin. So I left. And then I went to, I'm, I'm watching y'all, sorry if it's loud, I'm watching um, um, Fantastic Beast and The Secrets of Dumbledore again. So, I did end up going to the dollar store on my way. I wasn't going to, but I did. Um, I got myself two pair of glasses, a couple of other things, and came home. I was able to park right across the street in front of the house, which was great. Come upstairs. Uh, get everything situated and I'm watching a movie. So I'm laying on the couch and you know, I'm getting tired, getting sleepy, but I'm still awake. And I'm feeling my legs started to feel kind of crampy. And I'm like, ugh. So I sit up and I'm massaging my legs. Um, then I'm still feeling really crampy. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should go run me a hot bath. But the water was taking too long to warm up for me. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to lay back down. And I'm massaging my legs. Then it stopped for a minute. I continued to watch the picture. All of a sudden, my toes started to cramp up. My legs started to feel real cramped up. So I got up. I came in here in the kitchen because the water in here gets hot quicker. So I turned on that hot water. I'm like, let me just put my foot under it. And so that heat could relax the muscles. So I'm doing that, but oh my God, y'all. I think I did a video on this once before. When I tell y'all, this pain has only happened once before. It was like none other. This pain started. I'm going to Damn, I accidentally clicked the button, y'all. I'm going to try to show you. The pain started 
Uh, let's see if I can show you without. I'm gonna throw my leg up. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all can see. The pain started right here. I know, forget the fat, but the pain started right here. And it came down. And when I tell y'all, it was the most horrible feeling I've ever felt in my life aside from giving birth. I couldn't, you know, sometimes when you get a cramp, like in your toe, or whatever, you try to bend your foot a certain way to relieve that pressure, or whatever the hell is going on, you bend your, your toe or your foot or your hand, your finger, whatever. I think in the opposite direction, I can't even remember right now. With this type of pain, you don't even know how to turn to, to try to. I'm just like. I'm just, oh my God, I, I couldn't do nothing but, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I bent over and I'm holding that leg, that thigh, and I'm I'm hurrying to the bathroom. I turn the hot water, I'm like, Lord, please let this water get hot. Literally. And so the water started to get hot. I, I, you know, stopped the tub up so they could fill up. In the meantime, I'm trying my best not to move because the minute I move, you can feel like that right there just, that, oh my God. God, like, oh, the pain, like, the pain. I am so thankful and grateful to my younger sister, Tiffany, who told me years ago, when you have bad cramps like that, your body cramps up, get in the water as hot as you can take it. Now, I love heat. I love hot water, okay? I've had doctors and therapists tell me, no, get in cold water, ice water, as cold as you can take it. The boys, when they play football and get will get cramps, Lavelle used to get them real bad. Then Jeremiah started getting them. And they were being always told, cold water, cold water, ice water, right? And I'm like, no. And I had a therapist say, no, in the morning, you know, because you have multiple sclerosis, get up in the morning, take a cold shower, shock your system. Why the f would I want to shock my damn system? I'm trying to relax my system. It makes no sense. So when I tell y'all, I am so... So grateful that my younger sister know her shit. She went to school for her, whatever. Told me hot water, as hot as you can take it, will relax the muscles. That's exactly what happens. I ran that water and I got over in there and wasn't in there not 10 minutes and muscles began to relax. And that's cramping. When, when I tell y'all pain, Oh my God. And like, I'm feeling it in my arms. And like, I know I've been doing a lot the last couple of days. But the crapping in my leg, that is a horrible pain. I can't even, just talking to y'all about it, I want to cry. Seriously, like, it's, it's for real. It is no joke. I was like, let me do a video. <laughs> I was damn near, I, I was trying to, man. When I tell y'all, I was like, oh, God. And I'm just, you know, I'm here by myself. Even if my boys were here, what the hell are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the last time it happened, this particular pain, cramping pain, Lavelle was here. He was in his room asleep. Jeremiah wasn't here. But Lavelle was, he was knocked out. He couldn't hear me. I was in there on the floor screaming. And I was scooting across the floor because I was trying to get to the bathroom, to the hot water. Man, when I tell y'all, y'all don't, man, when I tell you about pain that I have experienced, aside from childbirth, that is the worst. It's excruciating. It's it's. A, I almost feel like crying now. Like, it's no joke. It's for real. It's for real. I, I don't know why. I've been drinking water. It's like, damn. Like, how much more water do I need to drink? I, I just don't get it. Like, you know, <laughs> whatever, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and try to go to sleep. Finish watching Dumbledore's, relax my mind, relax my body, and just go to sleep. I wasn't able to donate today, like I told y'all, because they were telling me about my pressure or pulse or whatever being high. That's fine. I just want the cramping of my legs and things to stop. 
you know, just stop. <laughs> it's excruciating. It was, ex I just cannot explain the pain. Like, it, it's not normal. It's a non-normal feeling. Like, I get cramps in my legs and my, it like it was, and my toes started off. I just couldn't get it to straighten up. I just kept doing this. My hands, okay, that's, I get that. You know, I can deal with that. But what was going on in that inner thigh? Jesus, help me. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. That's all I can say. Come on, touch it, heal it. But, I mean, we don't want that. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but at the same time, I'm crying on the inside. Y'all, seriously, that's it's no joke. It's no joke. It's unbelievably painful. I just, I can't, I can't even, I don't even know how to describe the pain. Um, but anyway, you guys, have a great night. Um, I got to get up in the morning, get myself ready for the bridal shower, and hope I can look as decent as possible. But, um, yeah, talk to y'all later. Enjoy your night. Remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated. Bye, guys. <laughs>